Ella had school store today, so she wants to show me what surprises she picked out. <laughs> All right, I'll come over here. Dad, stop screwing with the lights. All right, go ahead. What we got? Ooh, what's that? A donut eraser? And, ooh, it looks like pancakes with uh, strawberries and cream. And, ooh, another um, unicorn eraser. Lots of erasers this time. Oh, what's this? This is brand new. Oh, it's a pencil sharpener. Guess that can go on Ella's new desk. And what else? Oh, a big unicorn. Is this another eraser? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, and he's got a little backpack. Oh, I think he's a pencil sharpener too. No, it's only for oh, Can I open them right now? Look at the bottom though. Oh. It's a sharpener underneath. <laughs> yeah, he's still playing. Very cool. Lots of stuff. I'm actually realizing that this might be my last vlog before my son gets here because my 500th vlog was coming up and I know I had wanted to do something special and what could be more special than introducing a new family member. But that being said, I'm not going to keep it like too, too long. But I always, it's so weird. I'll get like super inspired randomly to try new things. And a while back, I was doing like the whoopie pie for work and they didn't end up working out because all of a sudden freaking whoopie pies showed up at our back door so obviously I couldn't sell whoopie pies if that they were already there sold by somebody else so I really just kind of like put off baking but honestly I really really enjoyed it and I've been thinking recently like what could I do because I'm cut like work is ending and I want like another hobby I want something that like I enjoy and that's fun to me and I want to try cake pops and they're so simple um that I figured figured I could do it <laughs> because they are so simple um so you know Valentine's Day is next month so I've been thinking about like what can I do some valent like can I practice some Valentine's Day ones so I'm outside of Ella's school right now and then we're gonna head to the store and pick up some supplies and I'm just gonna like kind of play today and see what I can't come up with um I'll have Ella help and everything so I don't know it might be a disaster but <laughs> we'll see I'm planning on doing maybe like a I don't know like a chocolate no maybe like a vanilla cake pop um, and then a like red velvet with vanilla to make it pink. So like red velvet and vanilla and then, or maybe like a funfetti cake pop or something with some sort of frosting, maybe vanilla too. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, you know, I've been writing down like recipe, like I thought of this idea like an hour ago. So I'm just thinking of like just a quick mix that would taste really yummy. But I know like doing a red velvet with vanilla would make like a really pretty pink inside, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. So I don't know. I have like two minutes before I gotta go pick her up. I wrote down like a little supply list. So I will get what we need and we'll go home and I guess do some experimenting. So we just got home with everything that I picked up at the store. I am going to show you guys what I got and like attempt to make our first batch of cake pops. But I'm going to switch over to my Canon just because it's so much easier having a tripod and you can see everything so much clearer. The only issue is that I have a good microphone on my Canon so it tends to pick up the humming from my pellet stove in the other room. So I'm going to try to like fix that as much as I can but if you can hear that in the background. No. So I'm going to try to like block out that noise as much as possible. Maybe even add like a tiny bit of background music just because that's a lot less annoying than the humming. So if you hear that that's what it is but let's switch over. Okay so yeah this is so much easier having you guys like set up and hands free scoot you back a little bit so I have two bags worth of stuff so I basically spent like $53 on everything today but also I'm starting from scratch so the next time that I have to like refill up on stuff obviously I wouldn't have to pay like that 
that much. Also, I figure that like I just went to Walmart, so there's probably different stores out there or like online or something where I could buy some of these items cheaper, like the candy melts and stuff. So that was just kind of like a starting price for me. So I'm just going to show you guys what I got first. The cake that I am making today. Um, I mentioned in the car I want to do something red velvet so I have a super moist red velvet I don't know how like if you buy super moist cakes versus more dense cakes if one would work better than the other obviously you want structure for a cake pop so this is kind of like a test but we're gonna try red velvet to mix with the red velvet I just got a vanilla frosting so make like a nice light pink I got some non-stick non-stick parchment paper. I got some white decorating icing, some pink decorating icing, um, just in case I ever want to make like rosettes or something. I used to be really good at them in a baking class in high school. <laughs> so I'm hoping that like I didn't get any piping bags to make it today, but I wanted to like stock up. Um, I also have some red decorating icing as well. I have some little tiny white um, icing melts this was literally the only size they had of white so you know I'll, of course I would look for like bigger packages maybe at Michaels but I feel like that might be a little expensive but I also got red chocolate melts I got bright pink or these are the lighter pink I think <laughs> what am I Dr. Seuss I got two different pinks but one is brighter than the other I'm just trying to find it so I got a lighter lighter chocolate melts and a bright pink chocolate melt. I got some squeeze bottles. Um, I figured this might be a little bit easier to like do like drizzle on top if I wanted to. So I got some of that and then I also found this cake pop press. It was only like three dollars so I want to try this today as well and see if this works out because it'd be perfect to make sure that my cake pops are consistent consist consistent in size so we'll try that and then I got some I got a big pack of sticks and I didn't want like the super duper long ones so these are kind of like a medium size and then I wasn't sure because I saw so many different cake pop idea designs some were like more so truffles and then some others were like cake pops so I bought some mini baking cups um, just in case you know I want to do some just sticking a styrofoam, some I wanna like tip upside down, so it kinda gives me freedom to play with that. And then just for starters, I am gonna look online though. I just bought a little pack of sprinkles and then of course a little styrofoam block. So I figured first thing is obviously first, I wanna actually make the cake. <laughs> so this is just a box cake, really, really easy. I'm sure you can make your own recipe. Um, same thing with the frosting, it's just store-bought, but I'm sure that you can make your own. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions real quick. Um, I just need to set my oven to 350. I also don't think it really matters like what pan that you bake your cake in, of course, as long as it's baked well, but I don't think you need like a sheet pan or anything. I have just two round pans that I'm gonna use because it gets broken up into crumbles anyway, so we're just gonna speed through this part real quick. Okay, my cakes are done. You might hear her iPad in the background. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys. Let me grab my phone real quick. So I've been pretty much saving like a bunch of ideas of potential cake pops I wanted to do. So I have this picture saved and you can see like these little, they're pink with white drip on top and then little tiny hearts so I want to maybe try to do one of those maybe do one that's a little more simpler like this white one with the pink stripes so I'm just trying to like think of what I'm gonna need uh, and kind of start getting that ready while my while the cake cools down I'm gonna use the light pink um, candy melts here and I'm just gonna put some I'm gonna put some in a glass bowl because I'm gonna have to dip these ones by a glass bowl I meant a glass cup so I'm gonna start with some candy melts like this I'm not gonna melt anything until I'm ready and then I'm gonna need I am gonna do like one design at a time so I don't like over melt stuff and then it doesn't 
like work out so um, I want the pink for dipping and then I want the white for like details I am gonna actually melt these ones in a bowl only because I'm gonna be transferring the white to one of the little squirt bottles that I have I'm gonna start with probably half of this little package in here I don't, I don't think I need too too much I can obviously melt more if I need more and then I have this honestly I'm probably gonna use because the, the little ones that I'm looking at has like a little pink heart on top. I could definitely in the future get like little sprinkles. Um, again, this is all like testing. This is my first round. But maybe I can go on Amazon, see if they heart, have heart sprinkles and use that instead. But I might attempt to make my own little heart um, designs. And that's why I got the parchment paper too. And I might even do the little hearts as a red heart or like the darker pink heart. Um, but I'll decide that at the end, <laughs> I think. Um, or like right before I drizzle the white because I want it to be able to stick. So I'm going to stick kind of the white and these together so I can kind of remember my idea. So as soon as that cake is ready to go, I'm going to set up a little area over here and we're just going to try this together and see what we come up with, what I, what I learn, what I did right, what I did wrong. We'll go from there. Okay, so I have a little station set up here, and I apologize for the shadows. I'm just running out of daylight completely. So I want to first actually make my cake pop mixture. So all I'm going to do is I let my cakes um, cool, and I did wash my hands. Don't worry. But I'm basically just going to break it up. Um, and you can, I've seen people like rub it together, but like you just want to crumble it. Um, I'm just going to use my fingers. Some people use like a stand mixer, but I feel like that could really make a gigantic mess. Um, but from like some of the research that I've done on how to make these, you just want to make it like super crumbly. Once I have the, this is the entire one half so like one of these is in here now and then I'm gonna take my vanilla frosting and I don't know how much like what the ratio is yet so let's go ahead and open this oh my hands are slippery now <laughs> but I just have a big tablespoon so I know that they said to start with a little and add as you need it so I'm just gonna start with a nice scoop and I'm, I'm just going to use my fingers wow, and I'm just going to start. Cake like that. Ella joined me. <laughs> the vanilla definitely didn't make it as like light as I thought. Maybe I can add a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit more and see if I can't lighten up the mixture. But I also don't know if that's going to, again, affect the structure of my cake pop. So again, I do have my parchment paper here. Um, but we're going to go ahead and open up this thing. So again, this is the cake pop press. Oh, it actually says put in the fr put, it says put this in the fridge to chill. So I'm going to have to let this chill for a little while, I guess. I don't know, maybe not that long, but we'll, I guess we'll be right back. I tossed it in the freezer so it kind of speed up the process a little bit. But the next step, it says to roll mix by hand into slightly larger balls than the cavities in the press. So let's open this up. Um, I did grab a tablespoon, so we can still try to make it as consistent as possible. So let me try taking a scoop here. We're just gonna use my hands, roll that into a ball. Are you? And then, that actually seems like a decent size, so we're gonna try that. Please balls into the fill this side. Oh. Uh, oh, fill this side, so over here, and firmly press down. I actually don't think it matters if I'm exact in size because we're going to press this down and there's probably going to be overflow anyways, so I'm taking about a tablespoon, I'm starting with that, rolling it into a ball, and I'm just going to fill all five cavities. Now that these are all filled, we'll go ahead and press this down, open press and remove the overflow. A little hard <laughs> to open. Okay, so there actually wasn't much overflow at all, but at least we know that these are the same size. And dip each cake pop in melted chocolate and insert halfway 
into the cake pot. Allow the chocolate to cool and carefully remove the cake pot from the press and then dip into chocolate. So I just kept melting the chocolate in short intervals until I got a good consistency. Now I'm going to take, I have some pops ready. Now I'm just going to dip one of the ends in. And then they have like a little area for the pop to go. So I'm just going to stick it in. Not all the way, but enough for it to stay. And I'm going to work kind of quick because with melted chocolate, it tends to uh, heat up or set kind of fast. Okay, so that was pretty much it. So I'm literally just going to let these cool before I try popping them out. So I'll probably give them just a couple of minutes. Um, it sets pretty fast, so it won't, it won't need that long. I might even attempt to pop them in the fridge just so they can set even faster. After just a couple minutes in the fridge, they're not 100% set, but I think... Okay, I think they're good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and stick them in the styrofoam. So that way I can continue making more and these can continue to set because I got quite a bit of these to make. Okay, did I make a mess, but <laughs> they are all done. Um, so I'm gonna just start, I'm not gonna use the mold to put in these sticks. I found that a little bit difficult. So instead I'm just going to dip the chocolate and I'm going to just stick them right in. I ended up switching over temporarily to a voiceover because TJ got home and had to start finicking with the pellet stove. So I melted some of this pink chocolate and I tried dipping a couple different ways. I wouldn't recommend swirling the cake pop like you can see me doing here, um, but I am ta trying to tap off the excess. I've actually learned quite a bit since filming this video about how to properly dip. Like right but here, I lose my cake pop, and I have a good idea about why at this point. I would definitely thin out the consistency of the chocolate a little bit more. There's a thing called Paramount Crystals, which is specifically um, made to thin out chocolate. I wouldn't use oil. Um, you'd get a better consistency. So so I'm going to try that next time, but I would just go straight down into the chocolate and then tap off some of the excess and hope that uh, they come out a little bit smoother than they did this time for me. Oh my God, <laughs> I literally can't. Why these things don't happen when I'm actually filming is beyond me. Like then it would be worth it. <laughs> um, I'm struggling. I can't figure out some of them look better than others like these were double dipped um in the pink chocolate but i just had white chocolate literally explode just so thank you I'm, I'm struggling this little thing i kept like squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and the pop i mean the cap popped off and exploded everywhere and i truly wish it was gone on camera but it wasn't so these cake pops are definitely not perfect by any means. We're getting somewhere, but I'm gonna have a, to think of a different way. I'm probably just gonna melt some chocolate. I'm running out of the white, so I'm gonna melt some of the red and put those on top. And um, <laughs> I'm so mad. This process has been a nightmare. <laughs> what I'm gonna try to do, originally I wanted white, but that's not gonna work right now because I exploded the rest of my white. Um, but I just melted a little bit of the red candy melts. And I'm gonna try pouring some into a baggie instead. I do wanna dip some of these as well in the red, so um, I do have some more. But now, I'm just going to take just literally the tiniest little edge off here and I'm going to take one of these cake pops and attempt, okay, that's working 
a lot better than the uh, <laughs> squeeze bottle. So I just drew kind of like a drippy outline and now I'm trying to just fill it in a little bit. I'm just using the like tip of the bag to kind of push it around a little bit. But I wanted something like that but in white. Now it just looks like blood. <laughs> but honestly though, I'm going to kill these cake pops. <laughs> So maybe, maybe the red on top is not the best. Um, I am going to try to take some of these. So some of them, I feel like my second batter was a little more wet than the first batter was. So it's having some difficulty. Um, but I'm just going to, I'm going to try again with the white. Yeah, see? Like the, oh, oh, like it fell out again. I don't understand why it keeps falling out. Am I not using enough white? But I'm just going to take my fork, kind of let it just drip out, and then, oh my god, it fell back in. <laughs> this is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> Maybe I'll pick up a different hobby. <laughs> I'm just going to place that down on my parchment paper. I'm going to take a little bit of the sprinkles before the red dry. I'll show you when it dries. But I'm going to take some of these gold sprinkles. Goodness gracious, we have something out of today's mess. <laughs> I'm determined to get all of these ready to go. I am um, kind of reshaping them. I think instead I'm going to take the cake pop and sort of like drizzle it on top. So I'm not like dipping it in thick chocolate. I even tried thinning out the chocolate a little bit using some oil because I felt like maybe it was just too thick so the chocolate wasn't like holding the stick but that worked a little bit better but not didn't fix all my problems but we're gonna try it with this one I'm just kind of drizzling it on and turning as I go kind of like letting gravity take control because I have zero <laughs> control I have zero control and then as it's dripping I'm uh, turning it oh my gosh I really do like the red though it's super vibrant I, w I would have paid a million dollars to have that exploding white <laughs> chocolate melt on camera oh my god CJ was dying he obviously you just heard his dad come in oops I just and it touched the t side of the container his dad came and it literally happened like 30 seconds ago. I would have killed. Mm, gosh. All right. These I'm, I'm going to have actually upside down. So I'm going to take one of these little baking cups. I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting today, guys. So I'm going to have, I'm not even going to worry about the flat bottom. So I'm going to do that again with the red. And I'm wondering if I should have it like set down on the parchment paper, have it dry, and then set it into a... Um, set it into a cup or yikes because that one that I just put in the cup looks like it's overflowing a little bit over the top and it doesn't look super presentable so I mean there's a few things that I learned today a I learned how many like cake pops an entire um cake would make I also learned that this dries super fast when it explodes on your clothes <laughs> I haven't learned why the hell these sticks are not staying oh that is so frustrating the sticks keep falling off and I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why oh wouldn't this be fun to do today something relaxing and something enjoyable and I keep freaking getting these sticks disgusting because my hands are gross I think I have more cake pop on my pants than anything else to be honest with you <sighs> I hope they taste good <laughs> all I ask for at this point I'm stained I'm a mess I've spent it is seven o'clock guys I started this at like four I think it just oh my god I did not waste fifty dollars for this I'm gonna use the rest of this as well to kind of drizzle my other pink cake pops just so I can say hey you know what I failed but I tried <laughs> Oh, see? It's not that bad. One of the major issues I was having was that, because this is one of the ones that fell off, and it's just, it's too much frosting. It's not like I can taste an overwhelming amount of frosting, but the texture itself is very, very, very soft. So, 
I think I just need to add less frosting next time and I think I'll have better luck with the cake pops actually like staying on. This is what happened to the one that I put immediately in the wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a Reese's peanut butter cup, <laughs> which I mean might be cool. I don't know how I would like make this color different than this color besides like, I don't know. I mean, it's already colored, right? So I don't know. I'm just getting rid of some trash. She's trying it. She says she liked it, but like I said, it's just it's too much moisture. This one was just yikes. <laughs> <laughs> that one's trash um this is the little one that i did without a little stick at all so this could be cute this i mean i feel like the baking cups i got are a little too small <laughs> oh maybe not maybe i could make i mean i could always make some like this do not throw that one away that was so so cute. I want to eat that one. Look at my nails. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I feel like it looks like an apple. No, you're not having too much. It's almost bedtime. I've been working on this forever. I mean, presentation wise, it doesn't look that bad. Like, it's not professional by any means, but like, it's one of the best that I've done today. Okay. I am officially pooped. I am done. This was such a fail. Not really a fail. I did learn a lot, but I wasted an, an entire box of cake. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It was okay. It was fun to experiment, but I'm a disaster, and I have so much to clean up. So I'm going to go. That's going to be it for today's vlog. Hey, this one didn't turn out that bad. I definitely don't like the sprinkles on it. I like the design on it, but it's actually put together, however. I don't know what the heck happened. <laughs> I don't know. That was interesting, to say the least. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Because I sure didn't. <laughs> I still want to practice. Excuse me. I still want to practice with these. Oh my gosh. I still want to practice with these. Um, I think, you know, I have to perfect the base first. I have to perfect getting the cake pop to stay on the stick. As well as getting, like, even coats. Like, I, don't, I just don't understand what happened. Like, I don't know how to... <sighs> Like, I don't know, some turned out better than others, but they all kind of look like this. I mean, that's when the white exploded, but I don't know. I'm just going to have to do some experimenting and see and maybe some research online. Maybe there's like better chocolate melts to use. I'm not really sure, but all I know is that I have a mess. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon.